This is Twit. We have a an incredibly widespread Wi-Fi firmware bug, which by all measure affects probably billions of devices. Mm -hmm. um, the title of Embedi's disclosure was Remotely Compromised Devices by Using Bugs in Marvel Avastar Wi-Fi from Zero Knowledge to Zero Click Remote Code Execution. Okay, so this is one of the most popular, um, if not the most popular Wi-Fi chipset on the market. I was... I, in digging around, I wanted to find out whether it was possible for its firmware to be reflashed, and I, I could not get an answer. You have to go under NDA with them in order to get <laughs> access to the 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 you know pinouts and the the programming of the chip. But it's it's highly unlikely that a an SOC, as this is called, a system on a chip. Has it has reflashable firmware because there would just be no need for it. Or even if it did, you probably can't get to it from the main from the from the main processor of the system that it's mounted in. You know, you would need to physically hook on a, a JTAG debugger in order to get to it to reflash the firmware if it's even possible. So. We're probably all – we, the industry, the world, stuck with this Wi-Fi chip as it is. But in the process of digging in to see what I could find, I discovered – I mean it's been selling for a decade. So, I mean it, this particular chip, the 88W8897, is – it's everywhere. It's in the Sony PlayStation 4, the Xbox One. Microsoft Surface laptops use it. Samsung's Chromebooks use it. The Samsung Galaxy J1 smartphones, the Valve Streamlink cast devices, some other laptops. There are uh, consumer routers and embedded devices and other network uh, hardware. So, I mean, it is, it, it's sort of the go to Wi Fi chip. It's what's, what drives it is an embedded RTOS, a real-time operating system known as ThreadX. And there's been some confused reporting about whether the bug is in ThreadX or in the implementation of it. And it looks like it's actually in the implementation, in the code that was written for this real-time operating system. So the story begins late last spring when a researcher, uh, Dennis uh, uh, Selianin, who is with the embedded security firm Embeddy that I mentioned before, he was experimenting with fuzzing that that very highly popular uh, Wi-Fi chipset. You know, and we've talked about fuzzing before. Uh, the The idea is, in some cases, you can't find problems by inspection, so. What is done is you sort of automate the process. You just throw a whole bunch of stuff at it. And if, if, if something you throw at it makes it crash, then you go, ooh, uh, what just happened? So the idea is you that's, – that's the process known as fuzzing where you record what you're throwing and you also watch to see if what you threw crashed the chip. And if so, then you say, whoa, and you back up. And then you, you, you fuzz again, verify that it's reproducible, and then from there – so basically you're using a, a, just a random process to find edge cases, things that, that the programmers missed. So he was doing that, and I, and I saw the log. It's like for four point some days of this, and then he, then they, he, he found a problem, dug into it figured out what was going on, ended up finding four problems, two of which are critical. And, and when we say critical, we're not kidding. Um, so um, if any of these Wi-Fi devices that I mentioned are powered up, the bugs he found would allow malicious attackers to force them to execute arbitrary code 
of the attacker's choice without requiring any action on the part of the device's owner. In other words, this could not be worse. Well, okay, it would be worse if you could do it from Russia. Uh, the good the good news is you have well the sort of the good news is it, it is Wi-Fi, so you need to be within oh. Wi-Fi range. Well, that's but good. That uh, yeah, oh well. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So it you know it, it means that it's I mean, more it's of a concern not a, for a business than an individual though. Something cool. Like, right? Well, yeah. 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 Um, unless it, well, certainly you could be targeted. Um, and if you went to Starbucks, there's a lot of. I mean, True. the idea is that any device that re, any device with this chipset that receives this malformed message will execute code. So is this chipset in a Wi-Fi access point or is it it's in computers, right? This is a both. Uh, it, it's, it's both. Just, it's like yeah, it, it, it's it's, it's a widely used uh it's MIMO, it's Bluetooth, it's it's I mean it's a super popular chip because these guys did a beautiful job except there's a little bug in their firmware uh of the chip. So one of these bugs is specific to this particular 88W8897 Wi-Fi controller. Um, but the other bug may be based on the ThreadX operating system. So now, details are being withheld because he did then inform, um, uh, Im Im Embedi informed Marvel in the, I think it was in May, yeah, May of 2018, that they had found the problem. But again, so... Here's the problem is that it could certainly be the case that chips m moving forward will have this fixed, but they're just, there is almost, I mean, I don't know for sure. I, I could not get an answer. Everybody is being, you know, tight lipped about this because this is really bad. This is in a billion, bill, billions of devices all over the world. And the reason we're not hearing more about it yet is that the proof of concept has not been released. There is an there is a demo of this happening. The guy showed it at a conference in November. Um, so there's a demo of it happening online, but no proof of concept required. It requires, he says, it requires no user interaction. It can be triggered in, uh, oh, what happens is every five minutes, the 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 typical Wi-Fi chip reaches out to enumerate Wi-Fi signals, you know, Wi-Fi base stations, access points, users, whatever, within its range. So at that point, the device could be compromised. It requires no knowledge of the of the Wi-Fi network name or passphrase or key. You need to know nothing about it because it's it's such a low level. It's down at the low level, um, you know, the the Etherlink protocol level of the chip, um, and gives the attacker arbitrary code execution uh, on this uh, Wi-Fi SOC, this system on a chip. This is in so, the uh, Surface computers. It is in the, yes, it's in the Microsoft oh Surface um, oh machines. <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> and so, yeah, and so here's the problem is it's not clear this can be fixed. Um, I mean, I, I don't know one way or the other. Uh, I've got a link in the show notes to the demonstration proof of concept video. It's in my Xbox where, One. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, the J1 smartphones. Fortunately, the, the Galaxy J1s aren't super popular, but uh, Samsung Chromebooks are, Surfaces are, Xbox Ones, yeah. and PlayStation uh -huh. are. Holy cow! Yikes! So I have a feeling we will be following this story for the balance of the year. Um, the problem is that there's enough information that is already disclosed that it's probably possible to independent yeah. for bad guys to independently follow in the footsteps of Embedi and reconstruct this. Um, and they're, 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 you know, once they do release something, once Marvel has some sort of response to this, these guys have said they're going to release a proof of concept and 
the, the, the details of their tools. But the problem is we know billions of devices are not going to get their firmware updated. So, and this is just so juicy. The idea of a no, no click, no authentication, uh, over the air, you don't have to be, you don't have to physically touch a device. You just have to, you know, zap it <laughs> with the proper packet when, when, when it reaches out and you can take it over. It's going to be just for, for like the real hackers, it's going to be, they're not, not going to be able to control themselves. They're, we, we will see exploits for this. So I could go and sit then, in a coffee shop. Now, nobody, of course, the code's not out there, but when you say owned, what could I just start capturing all the packets coming out of that device, for instance? Yes, for instance, exactly. Okay. Okay. And and you could also turn around and then access the, the, the system that 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 Wi-Fi chip is sitting on because the chip itself is on the bus. So you could then access probably main memory of that chip and, Ooh. you know, rifle around and get, get private keys and so forth Ooh. because we don't want anybody in our main memory. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, 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 the way the architectures are now, the bandwidth of these chips is so high that they have direct DMA access into main memory. That is when, when they're receiving data there, it is being streamed directly into oh. the main memory of the system, which means that the they chip itself it. they could read has it. exactly oh, has access. Man. <gasps> yeah. Yikes. So that's yeah, worse gonna, than capturing your packets. That's seeing it, everything that's going on. Yeah. They can rummage around. Wow. It's, I have a feeling this will be, <laughs> this is going to be a field day for the, for the bad guys.